new thing to me today. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll talk about this assessment of single cell RNA seq normalization strategy. Uh, single cell has become a very important biotechnology, and uh, uh, te uh, technical knowledge is one of the <coughs> most important issues when we do this RNA seq data analysis. And more, more, uh, many normalization strategies are work has been introduced into the single cell <coughs> data. Here is a list. We have some method without ERCC. ERCC is just a, a ac uh, external control when we're trying to do this <coughs> experiments. And uh, others are include ERCC. So as less assessment has been important, has been reported to assess all these methods because first we don't have the gold standard, and second there is less uh, quantitative way to measure them. Uh, to measure the perform uh, to quantitatively measure the performance of these uh, strategies. So here we uh, collect the data from the SCAP T. Here we, um, they measure uh, in total 120 single cell data. There are two from two reference RNA, XDR and EHR, and there are uh, several quantities. They are uh, used different quantities, 110 pick kilogram, 100 kilogram and bulk, and they sequenced with uh, uh, three different strategies. So, uh, According to this paper, this is uh, published on the uh, 2003 Nature Method, and we find that this the, uh, the data will be will be a cluster. Will uh, the correlation <coughs> will be high for the bulk data, and will be will be uh, smaller with this uh, with this uh, the 10 picogram data. So we assume that this data will be first clustered according to the uh, amount. According to this, the reference I use first, and then they will be uh, a cluster according to the amount. So we take this as a gold standard, and uh, then we try to assessment this the normalization strategies with this way. First, uh, we do this uh, row count, row count, and uh, we try to different normalization way to normalize it. Then we do the theoretical clusters on all the samples, and then we use the three different statistical index to evaluate the clusters. The first one is a random index, that is how many uh, pair of samples in the same cluster compared with the original one. The second one is a Dan index, that is a ratio of the inter uh, cluster distance and uh, compared with the intra dis uh, cluster distance. And the last one is a jacket index, that is we, we sample, we, we did this cluster according to uh, gene size or the small samples and compare with the original cluster to see how many uh, clusters have been repaired, uh, recovered. So here, first we, uh, first we, <coughs> we uh, normalize uh, uh, with uh, no ERCC method, we can see that for the, this uh, D6 HDR, which the D6 HDR is, uh, uh, the cl the uh, data will be clustered according to the amount first, uh, to according to their sequencing method first, then amount. But uh, for the RUVR uh, method, the data will be cl clustered according to the amount first, then the strategies, which means the RUVR has a better performance than the DE6. So uh, if we use uh, this statistical <coughs> index, we can also see that from this, uh, for this HB, for this RUVR one is always higher than uh, other methods. So, but from the Jacker index, we can see the RUVR one is uh, less, less, uh, is lower than other, which means the RUVR one is kind of much more sensitive than other strategies here. We also use uh, this uh, normalization with the ERCC method. We <coughs> try to compare with RUVG and GRM. Generally speaking, they are performance the same but there is one out layers here for ROVG. So if we use uh, this, uh, evaluate with uh, a statistical, uh, statistical index, we found that GRM is a little better than the ROVR and ROVG here for the uh, random index, and better, much better than the DAN index, and the sensitivity is looks like the similar with each other. So we have these conclusions. First, the theoretical cluster is more reliable with uh, ERCC-based normalizations. And the second is IOVR, IOVG are higher accuracy than other methods, but uh, it's sensitive to gene size and sampling. And this will be a acknowledgement to the, uh, my professor and uh, the, uh, all my cooperator, uh, Miss Lina, 
and also the SCAP TNIH and our poster is NCPG. Thank you. Thank you very much.